Last night, we slept with one eye open and we saw it. That thing is no refrigerator. It's a cloning device. Early in the morning, there was a small flash of light emanating from the machine and another vile creature materialized right next to us. Why do we have a cat cloning machine in our bunker? What's up guys and welcome back to 60 seconds! And for today's episode, we're gonna try once again to get a new ending for this game. I, I talked about it last episode, how they updated the game introducing three or four new endings that we haven't seen before. And uh, it's gonna be really difficult, okay? Like, I I'm probably gonna try to streamline this episode. I'm gonna cut out as much stuff as I can that you guys have seen time and time again, including the scavenging. So I'm gonna show it to you guys now just so you see how I got what I got, but it's probably gonna be my best of multiple attempts because I really need to get off to a good start. This is not something that's easy to do when commentating, but I need to survive long enough not only to find the new ending, but to dodge all of the old endings that we've already seen before. I know that they say this at the beginning of every round, but I'm gonna say it in that this may be the best stock shelter I have ever seen. Right now we have eight bottles of water, seven cans of soup, one dead fly. That should last us for 35 days without any scavenging. And then we have every item except for the bullets and the cards which aren't super important. So I want to say that we are doing great. And I can't imagine there's going to be a whole lot to do in these opening days. So we're going to feed them and hydrate them every five days and hope that something new comes around. Not totally sure what Sharikov is up to. So once again, I've sent Super Mom out into the wasteland because I feel like your first run out there is usually free. Right, I don't think anybody has ever gotten into trouble. Plus, if she can bring back a couple more supplies to start us off, then all the better. And we have a new event. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine, not worrying about nukes raining down on her household. Too bad we don't have a photo of her. Or do we? We put some photos in books a while ago after the giant coffee spill incident. Please don't tear up the Boy Scout book. If you're looking for photos, right? That book is really useful. Would definitely appreciate... Okay, book is still in one piece. We're looking a little tired. Oh, we did get a little photo! <laughs> That's different. Okay. We hung a little family photo of Auntie... A we did it! The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the Scout handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful surprise. And then everybody else is doing fine. Kind of upset. Mom is gone. Okay, so far so good? What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Okay, well, we're gonna have to shoot it. Oh, we don't have the ax. That's the other item that we're missing. I hadn't noticed. Did we just shoot that cat? We did. A rat? We broke our gun on the rat cat. Damn. How did you guys manage that? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. Wonderful. Ooh, I hear Dolores. She's back and she broke the gas mask. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we were supposed to be off to a good start and she came back with one can of soup. Really? Oh, that is just the worst. Okay, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. No, 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 we don't want phone calls, right? That's the twins. We're not interested in that. We're just gonna hope that Cherikov shows up. I feel like there has to be some ending revolving around this weird cat, right? So we're just gonna wait for a knock on the door. Everybody's fed and hydrated. And I don't really wanna send anybody else out because the wasteland is still incredibly radioactive. Uh, we don't really want to contact the government either, do we? Yeah, so we're gonna skip that. It's so weird having to skip so much stuff, but I have to, right? Because I don't want to get these endings. So you guys are just gonna have to sit here and mope around, drink your soup and drink your water. Day 12, you don't need anything. We're not going out. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly, surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our hatch. Should we let it inside? Yes. We should let 
Sharikov inside. And Okay, he's 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 in, he's on the checkers. <laughs> and the cat ending begins. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? I never thought about who nuked us in this game. <laughs> it's just a nuke dropped and you move on. You don't even think about what's going on in the world. Okay, yeah, let's listen. I mean... Maybe Sharikov is a Soviet? I, I don't really know. Oh God, it made Ted sick. Why? Why did you get sick listening to the Russians? We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets, we heard. It turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Thanks. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Oh, that's just great. Okay, well, we need to keep Ted alive. That's why we have the med kit. And I'm not sending anybody out, I don't think. I think I just want to hang out here and wait for Sharikov to do something. Ooh, Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Yeah, let's just talk to her. I feel like if we don't, she's going to go crazy and run out or murder somebody or something like that. I hear, okay, Cat is doing stuff. Ted is feeling better. We're running a little bit lower on supplies. Maybe I should be sending people out to get supplies. Oh, I never thought of that. Okay, in that case, we are gonna plan an expedition. Sharikov sure can take care of itself, but we can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat is it? It just so happens that we found an address on its collar. It's unlikely that its owner is still alive and a trip to the wasteland is always risky. Should we go outside and check that address? Yeah, I think we should do anything that the cat says or wants to do. Before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying they've been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Sharikov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shrugged and went back to our shelter. The cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to it the last few days. So it's day 18, everybody is still doing fine. And ooh, we're preparing an expedition. Okay, we're gonna send out the daughter and we don't really have anything to send with her. How about we send the suitcase? It's empty, right? Maybe she can put stuff in it? I don't know if it serves any purpose other than to let you bring more stuff with you, not more stuff back, but I have no use for it right now, so screw it. So she's gone out, everybody feels awful. You guys will get fed tomorrow. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. No, go away, government. So same as last time, Sharikov escaped, I guess, and came back to us a few days later, and now he's onto something. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with the big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we try to take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be? Or should we examine that wire? So the wire is a listening device that the agents in the van outside are using, and I don't really want to trigger them because we've already gotten that ending, so how about we just please the cat and say no? You play with that wire all you want, and then maybe that'll bring us down a different path, or at least I'll have dodged that ending once again. We don't really want to risk pissing off Sharikov by taking that story away. That's a good idea, considering how we found it. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just leave it be. That wire is probably useless. After Dolores returned from that last expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. Your feet look... Completely fine! It's ridiculous! Your expedition was three weeks ago. It might have been her right foot, or maybe her left foot. One of them, anyway. It seems irrelevant at the time, but now both of her feet are swollen. We need to do something about it. Well, I can't. As much as I would love to chop her feet off with the axe, I got nothing to help her out, so I guess she's just going to get ill. Which is super disappointing. Or not. She seems fine. What? I'm confused. Uh, we didn't do anything about the infected wounds. After all, our ancestors could survive without all that fancy medicine. Why should we listen to the doctors? Dolores is looking more sickly, though. Uh, is she? 
Well, if she's looking sickly, then it's probably for the best that we send her out into the wasteland because I'd rather not have her rotting in here. Yeah, that, that's the way to treat your mom. <laughs> Sherikov, can you please do something other than lie down on top of our supplies? I really want to get some kind of cat ending here. Here we go. Okay, so somebody was knocking on the door and I didn't have the choice to turn them away. Uh, apparently we just unanimously decided to let him in and we welcomed a probably crazy supposed scientist into our shelter today. It turns out that Sharikov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's highly valued assistant who he calls Dr. Sharikov. Sharikov, you have a PhD? Good for you, that must be hard as a cat. The cat's disappearance has left the doctor struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as compensation for keeping his helper away. The cat didn't care. This cat has a whole lot of owners and he doesn't seem to care a whole lot about any of them. It clearly wants to stay. The doc might be really crazy, but maybe his knowledge is something that can help us out in the long run. Okay, so maybe... The cat ending has something to do with this crazy scientist. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for him. Oh, 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 no, there he is. <laughs> he bounces around and he's freaking me out. The damaged rifle hanging there makes us feel unsafe. Maybe we should fix it. Not to mention, it could be useful in this part of the wasteland. Any part of the wasteland for that matter. Okay, Timmy, do your thing. Boy Scout book, fix that rifle, but don't break the book because that's not how books work. They're reusable. Yeah, there you go. What a trooper. Okay, and we have ammo. I traded um, our flashlight for ammo a little while ago just because I know that ammo can be used to shower, clean yourself, fix a med kit, something like that. Whereas the flashlight we don't really need. Okay, with the help of the scouting handbook, we were able to get the rifle into working condition. We even ended up with spare parts. That's... Sure, you know what, why not? If it explodes again when we fire it, I'm not gonna be surprised. We're gonna feed everybody, we're gonna hydrate everybody, and we're not gonna gamble, because I don't have any cards and I don't need them. Dolores? Dolores? She's back, she doesn't look great. Uh, maybe that's that whole sickly swollen leg thing finally coming to fruition. What did you do? She brought back four water! Ooh. The docks are quite a distance away from our house, but we knew of a warehouse that had housed an impressive number of goods before the bombing. We considered it a good idea to pay it a visit. Water, water everywhere. And finding empty bottles to store it in was not a problem. The problem was the water we filled them with was kind of salty. That's fine, I have no problem with that. Okay, so you know what, Dolores? I think you've earned yourself. Oh, we can't medkit. Okay, we're gonna feed her anyway. Maybe we can just hydrate her out of this sickness. Um, yeah, we can plan an expedition, sure, why not? Ooh, the cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's signed by the scientist. He says he's being followed by a couple of weird men in hats and sunglasses been there, making him temporarily go into hiding. His note mentions the construction of some sort of transportation contraption. Few details were provided, but apparently it can get us out of this hellhole. It still needs to be stocked with supplies, which is where we come in. He wants us to stockpile several cans of soup. The doc will come pick them up soon. So we need to give him all of our food and trust that his magical transportation contraption can get us out of here. That doesn't sound promising. It's not that I want to send Timmy into the wasteland with a loaded gun, but I kind of have to because we only have three and a half cans of soup and we need to give a bunch of soup to the scientist and then probably survive afterwards. So you go out, bring back soup, be a good boy. I believe in you. Day 33. Oh man, this isn't going as smoothly as I had hoped. We have a lot of water. We don't have a lot of soup. Maybe somebody will come along to trade. That'd be lovely. Day 33, we're not going to give anybody anything. We were never huge fans of mushrooms. With a colony of them grow... Oh, don't eat mushrooms. No, no, I don't care. Bad. Ooh, I hear a knocking. Oh, hopefully it's not the scientist. We, we don't have food. Uh, hello? Somebody there? Oh no, the doc came knocking on our door to collect the supplies that we requested. They're important for the project, he said. We can trust him. After all, he's the doctor. I need four cans of soup. I knew it. <laughs> because the, the G-men wanted four bottles of water. Oh, hopefully he comes back later. I just don't have him now, man. 
Timmy will pull through, right? I'm, I'm sure he's good for it, maybe. It's day 35, we need to feed ourselves more. This guy is a bit too nutty, even by our standards. We'll hold on to our supplies for now. We can always change our mind later. Okay, so we can change our mind later. He'll be back and... Oh, I'm just gonna feed everybody, I guess. Ah, I just shouldn't bother keeping everybody alive at this point. <laughs> I should just let some people die off. Too many mouths to feed. Ooh, Timmy, please bring food. Yes! What? Timmy! During our expedition, we stumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building. What the hell was that? Our local bank, although a place like that might not have been the ideal source of useful supplies, we decided to go in anyway. You never know what you might find, except for bags of cash, obviously. So Timmy walked into a bank with a loaded rifle. Okay, we're off to a good start. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open with saws hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? <laughs> anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. It was a soup bank, of course. So we got the four soup that we need for the doctor. Way to go, buddy. And water. And cards. We're sending Timmy out every time from now on. Dolores, you're cut. That was amazing. Okay, uh, we found a letter from what seems to be other survivors. No, I'm not interested in other survivors. I'm a scientist kind of guy now. So we just need to hope that the cat either does something or the scientist comes back before we have to eat this soup. That's a lot of time though, we got like 10 days. 10 days that we don't need because he's back the same day and he didn't even knock, which is kind of concerning. Okay, here's your soup. Got it all packaged up in a box for you. That only leaves us with two cans, so maybe come back soon with whatever you want from us next. The post-apocalyptic world is full of craziness, but maybe the scientist is really onto something. If he is, we want to be the first to know, so we shared our supplies. We expect him to come back with more surprises soon, and not just a full belly and demanding more stuff from us. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Okay, so everybody eat up, drink up. How are we doing? Should we send somebody out? Probably. Probably should send somebody out. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. What? Uh, she she doesn't look excellent though. Bandits are at the door, promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. It's time to make a stand or surrender. So I'm really happy that I have the lock. Might be a valid reason to not send the kids out with the gun. Hopefully the bandits don't come back over and over again like they always do. There goes our lock. Okay, well, we've taken a stand and shown these bandits who's in charge. We're hoping they won't come back with more friends some other time, which means they're going to be back with more friends some other time. Okay, we didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Day 44, nobody needs anything yet. Spiders. Spiders get smushed, right? Yeah, if we had... Ah, uh, no, that's fine, get rid of them. Oh, come on, bandits, get off my nuts. Alarm, someone is trying to break in and they're not alone. We'd better get ready or else we might end up dead or worse. Please don't end the game for me, please, please. Oh, okay, maybe they just, they just took Dolores, okay. Wife got kidnapped, that that should appease them for a while. Sorry, honey, we're just gonna wait for the scientists. Oh no, instead of murdering all of us and robbing our supplies like we expected them to, the bandits grabbed Dolores and pulled her out of the shelter, kicking and screaming. <laughs> Damn you bandits, Dolores will make you pay for this, we're sure of it. Good luck. Ooh, daughter's back, and I can't tell what she brought. She broke the gun though, so that's great. Uh. Military is still doing flybys, I guess. Not interested. Okay, she came back with a can of soup. And one less gun. All right, so we're gonna stick to Timmy because she is just not cutting it. Uh, letter on our doorstep. It was not signed. It contained a location and time for a meeting tonight and a few sentences. It said that we're friendly, come unarmed, send one person. No, 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 that's the twins. Not interested. Not, not going to any meetings, right? We don't want that ending. Well, scientists to show up. It's day 49, man. I haven't got all day. I've got no way to defend myself because my daughter managed to break my only gun. So, 
if you could just... Oh, 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 no, don't click through. Don't click through. The mad scientist has asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment that's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it has for research on wasteland diseases. I was gonna say, he told us he was making some kind of transportation device, right? So, are we gonna be tested on with diseases or a crash test dummy? Or both? Is this something that we want to take part in? We already gave him all of our soup. Who's the best one fit to survive a mysterious and potentially dangerous experiment? I feel like that's our daughter, right? She turns into a mutant sometimes. So maybe she'll, yeah, she'll be fine. We just sent her off with a strange man into the wasteland. Our volunteer has temporarily left the shelter to build a badass rocket that we can all use to get out of the wasteland. Let's hope we're not just wasting our time. A rocket, huh? Okay. Well, it's day 50. I don't have too many mouths to feed. Just as boys now. Oh, no, Sharikov, why now? The cat's been staring intently at our supplies all day. Its eyes are piercing. You can practically feel the tension rising in our shelter, as well as the sense of danger. This must be how cats communicate that it's time to eat. Should we share some supplies with our furry friend? I only have one and a half cans of soup left. <laughs> so, it's day 51. Day 54... If I give up that can of soup, I can still feed everybody and last to day 60. So does the scientist need nine days? I feel like that's a long time, and this might be important to his ending if I piss off his assistant. Okay, yeah, here you go. Here's our soup. Why are we giving a full can of soup to a cat? Oh, okay, daughter's back. No, she's not. What the hell was that? What? We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, and eventually she reached a boiling point where her s <laughs> What? <laughs> she came in and left at the same time! Oh, come on. She reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. Was she there just then? Did I just gloss over the fact that she came back and I didn't hear her and there was no written- I don't remember. Okay, either way, she's gone now. I gave- the food to the cat instead of my daughter. No regrets. No, bandits, not now. I'm so close to the ending. I don't have anything to defend myself. Please take Timmy, just take Timmy. It's fine, don't end my game, don't end my game. No, 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 I was so close. <laughs> Damn it. Are you kidding me? No! Oh, this is all Mary Jane's fault for breaking the gun. No! Where did Dolores come from? Oh, I can't end the episode like that. I refuse to get the bandit ending. I'm just gonna try again. I'll be right back. Sharikov continues to occupy the fridge. Meanwhile, another cat somehow entered our shelter when we were asleep and ate some of our soup. We tried throwing the cat out, but its claws are just too sharp to argue with. It ate our food. Who were you? Rad. We have Sharikov and Rad. What is happening right now? Do you belong to the scientist as well? Because I'm at day 52 and there still aren't too many developments on the scientist front. Um, oh no, no, we're, we're not going to be angering the safe ghost again. I'm a little bit worried about the cats. I feel like the gang is coming together, right? We, we found that there was a overturned city and they're still eating our food. Wait, what? Another cat showed up in the shelter overnight, and with it, another soup can had disappeared. We don't know why these cats keep coming, but can't seem to get rid of them. What? What other... What other... Oh, there's another cat! Matt! We have three cats now, and they keep eating our food. <laughs> so the scientist is gonna need to save us from nuclear fallout and cat invasion? What is happening right now? Okay, day 53, this is weird. Uh, no, I don't want the military ending, but I feel like this isn't the scientist ending because I haven't done some of the scientist stuff. There's another cat. Who are you? Solid. 
<laughs> we have met Sharkov, Red, and Solid. I feel like we are quickly getting overrun. Did you, you ate another can. Just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, now there are three new cats in all, and three empty soup cans. How can we stop this madness? We still have a gun. Maybe we could just shoot them? I feel like opening fire against this gang is probably, oh yeah, let's open fire against the other gang though. Yeah, the bandits can just shove off. I feel like the cats would just tear them apart. Shots fired. Gun down. Uh, another cat. We now have deer me. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of space soon. Space or food, because we had to use bullets. Oh, what? And our gun? And the cat showed up and ate her food? Okay, hold on, what does it say about this cat? All right, this seems highly suspicious. With four new animals in the shelter, we're starting to think Sharkov's new home might not just be an ordinary fridge after all. Maybe it's some kind of secret cat communication device? Why did we put a cat communication device in our shelter to begin with? <laughs> this is bad, day 55, feed, hydrate. Uh, this morning we were surprised to find a letter on our doorstep. It was not signed, we can't, okay, no, 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 we don't want the twins. We're working on the cats now. We, we got some good sleep. Everything, there's a new cat. <laughs> Hello there, Polka. Last night we slept with one eye open and we saw it. That thing is no refrigerator. It's a cloning device. <laughs> Early in the morning, there was a small flash of light emanating from the machine and another vile creature materialized right next to us. Why do we have a cat cloning machine in our bunker? When will this end? Do we even have enough supplies to feed all of these hungry mouths? That's a good question. I feel like we should eat it before they do at this rate. I'm just gonna get a game over from cat infestation. Should we send somebody out? Yeah, let's prepare an expedition because we're gonna need to go scavenge soup. More cats? Scientist, where are you, dude? Oh God, okay, that's not good. There is another cat. We have Viren, and we also have the sock puppet again. Ted's lost it. The cats have taken over. Okay. Oh, Sharkov, we see you sitting in that cloning fridge, making imperfect clones of yourself each and every night. We don't know why you choose to torment us and take away our precious soup to give to your brothers and sisters. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Did we hurt you somehow, or is it just in your very nature to sit in every single box-shaped object the world has to offer, no matter what the consequences might be? So we're short another can of soup. Uh, I think Ted has gone... yeah, Ted's gone crazy. Great. Um, let's send out Timmy. You pulled through last time, champ. Could really use a box of soup right about now. We got hungry cats to feed. Got another cat, um, I, yep, that's another cat. We have myth, when will it end? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cats now. That's eight cans of soup that I could have used to survive. Oh my God, we don't know how much longer we can go on like this. Not only is our food rapidly dwindling, but we're also starting to question our sanity. Maybe we're all just hallucinating? Yeah, that's it. We're just talking to sock puppets and cats keep appearing. That would make a lot more sense than a cat cloning machine, right? We got one can of soup left. Oh, and it's day 58. This is bad. If another cat clone appears and takes that can of soup, we're dead, right? Should I just feed them? I'm gonna feed them the soup now. Yeah, screw your cats. Okay, and we're just gonna stop that. Is that good? Whoa, what? No! If I stop feeding the cats, I get a game over? We've been exiled from our home and overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of the furry beasts. Unable to fight them for even one more drop of soup. Their claws and teeth are just too sharp for our soft flesh. We'll have to try our luck elsewhere. We'll miss the shelter life. Hope the little bastards are happy in our home. Are you kidding me? I lasted almost 60 days and the cats are what drove me off? What?
So is this the Sharkov ending and then the scientist ending is something else? Because the scientist just stopped showing up as soon as Sharkov went off the rails. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of 60 Seconds, guys. And we made a lot of progress this episode, okay? We made it most of the way through some kind of scientist ending. I would assume, right, we did like three or four events with him. And he was sounding like he was wrapping up his experiments, but he just never got there in the end. And then with the cats, maybe if we could appease them, if a dozen or so of them appear, they won't drive us out. It's possible that they're just going to keep being cloned over and over until we get that ending no matter what. But I would be curious to see how far we could take it with these cats. So if you guys are interested in another episode, as always, be sure to leave a like and we'll keep hunting for these ridiculous new endings. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.